Hello there guys and girls, this is Brush Prince with another Total War Tilla Tournament match. Again, Cup of Nations Group Stage. Group 8 actually, didn't mention it uh, last uh, video. Uh, that's the group I'm in. Uh, anyway, it's uh, me, of course, I'm a part of Agony Clan playing as the Allens against William of Sacred Band who is the Jutes. Um, again, we are playing on planes because that's where group stage, I mean that's the only map that group stage will be played on and it's very very balanced so nothing bad to talk about it I suppose uh, but anyway uh, I'm not too confident going up against the Jutes and I'm not quite sure why because Allens are a pretty strong faction but in my mind it feels like the Jutes might actually do quite well against them but anyway uh, time for me to go over the builds so I have uh, my Germanic Noble General Brace Bronze 1 and then I have 6 Germanic Archers no make that 5 Germanic Archers this time around so I mixed things up uh, supported by 4 Germanic Pikes all Bronze 1 uh, 2 Sarmatian Warband on my right 1 Silver 2 1 Gold 1 on my left 2 Silver 2 Sarmatian Warband and again like the standard 6 Gold 3 Germanic Horsemen 3 on each flank Pretty normal stuff by now with the Germanics, but anyway, for William, what he has is an uh, interesting uh, composition. So he has his Nordic Warlord over here with Rally. Then he has two, three Nordic Horse Lords, Silver one on his right, uh, three Nordic Horse Lords on his right, two Silver one, one Bronze three. Uh, then he has a Nordic Pike unit on each flank. This Nordic Pike unit is far better than uh, Germanic pike, Pikes. Well, okay, maybe not far better, but better. And it does cost a little bit more. It's about 300, so yeah. Then we see two Nordic Pikes in the center. He actually only has two skirmishes. It's the two Nordic Hurlers. Uh, and we see over here a mix of Nordic Warriors and Herdmen. So two Herdmen, two Nordic Warriors. And then just a simple axe unit over there. That seems to be the build that, uh, that my opponent uh, decided to go for. Oh, Sacred Bands William. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead. So I have in Pikes, okay, maybe not a huge edge for him. But I have a huge skirmishing edge with my Germanic Archers. Because he only has like these crappy Nordic Hurlers. Which are not very good to be fair. The only thing is that they can fire quickly. So I'm putting one Germanic Archer on each flank because I want to target his Nordic Horse Lords and do as much damage as I can to them, basically. Uh, so then over here, I'm going to continue pushing up. I'm just going to run my units forward because I can rest them anyway. No problem. Um, but yeah, he does have an advantage in terms of melee. A very slight advantage. He has five melee units instead of uh, four. I think five swords. Okay, four swords and one axe unit. All right, but I think that yeah, my my uh, Sarmatian warband should do quite well against these Nordic warriors, though I think. But the Nordic pike support that he has can be quite annoying for me to deal with. If I charge my cab into it. it will be really really bad for me but yeah this is pretty cool the way he uses his uh, pikes like this I think I might steal this like basically two pikes in center and then one pike on each flank seems to be very very effective thing to do he's going to pull back and I'm not quite sure why so I'm just gonna fast forward because nothing is going on looks like now he'll push forward and I'm going to disengage over here I'm going to continue flanking, but I'm not being fast enough over here. I should continue pulling away, pulling back. And now you can see I'm getting some nice trade trades over here. He, you can see his Nordic, Nordic, wow, Nordic, Nordic hurlers getting shot by my uh, units here. They have very poor missile block chance. You can see that they're going to fall rapidly to my Germanic archers. Three of them focusing on one Nordic hurler. It's taking massive damage right now. Trying to pull back over here because I don't want to take an engagement over here. But just look at the Nordic curlers dying so quickly, especially to precision shot. I'm going to push up my pikes because you can see they're. And he's targeting my general right now. 
which is fairly interesting, because, uh, I mean, if you look at the stats of my general, he actually has decent armor and quite a lot of health. But here's going to be a mistake that I made, so, um, and you'll see what I mean by that very, very soon. Uh, so here he's gonna charge Nordic Horse Lords in, but I really didn't expect this to happen, because I was like, alright! I mean, he's he's not gonna charge me like this, is he? Because his swords aren't in position yet, so I was looking at another flank, and I noticed I get charged here, and I'm like, oh crap, that's really bad for me. So this unit is going to lose for sure. I'm gonna charge with this unit into this Nordic Horse Lord, and I should do well because I targeted it beforehand. I'm going to pull away this Germanic Horseman and engage this Nordic Horse Lord instead. Uh, yeah, this, this engagement going well for me. This one not going so well for me, though. I'm gonna get a charge here. Better charge than he did, I think. Because uh, he charged at the last moment. My Sarmatian Warband here will wreck his Nordic Pikes, and I think this is decently cost-effective for me, because I still have a lot of Sarmatians uh, left on the field once I kill those Pikes. Here I'm kind of, like, doing well against these Nordic Pikes, and I'm charging them from an angle which... It's kind of weird for them, but I'm gonna pull out here, and I'm gonna go for this unit, which doesn't have the pikes down, but as you can see, my guys, some of them go in front, and others go behind, so this Germanic Horseman not going to do too well for me. I mean, I'm killing a lot of the Nordic pikes, but this isn't exactly what I wanted to do, and now I'm gonna get charged freely by Nordic Horse Lords. Uh, he has... I mean, I'm gonna lose my, my Germanic Horses over here to his Nordic Horse Lords. Somehow I'm also losing this engagement, which I don't understand. I have gold 3 Germanic Horsemen against Silver 1 Nordic Horse Lords, and I also got the charge off on him, which is what? Something I don't really understand at all. My Sarmatian Warband here losing to Nordic Warriors, but I'm gonna push up my Germanic Pikes. Here you can see I'm going to get a charge off with my Germanic Horses into his Nordic Horse Lords. This should be an easy victory for my Germanic Horse, but. At this point, it's not looking great for me because I lost this one unit in the center without doing too much damage. Yes, I killed some of his spikes, but other than that, not a lot of damage. Here, however, he's making a huge mistake, which is leaving his Nordic Horse Lords engaged with my pikes. He's gonna take some damage on his Nordic Horse Lords, also targeting them down. But he just has so much cam left on my left flank, and I'm not quite sure why exactly. And look at this unit, it's losing very badly to his Nordic Horse Lords. Again, not quite sure why. He traded cost effectively there. So I'm going to go for another charge here into the Herdman. With gold 3 Germanic Horsemen. So th th this Herdman is going to take massive casualties. But he does get in with Nordic Horse Lords into my Germanic Archers. And now I'm just going to be able to target down this one unit. But at this point I'm just... I'm going to pull back the Germanic Pike. Because I know I have to reposition. Because this, this one Germanic Horse Unit won't hold back all these Horse Lords. Uh, so I do route this Herdman. This Nordic Horse Lord also will be routed off the field. As you can see, I'm pulling back over here because I can't engage that Herdman with Nordic Warrior. This Cav is dead here. That's good for me, but I still don't have enough units to kill him over here. As you can see, he's trying to engage my Pikes from the front, and he's... I mean, I'm actually getting a decent amount of kills here. I'm repositioning. Here as well, I need to send more pikes to cover my uh, archers here. But the thing about my archers is that, yes, they've done a lot of damage overall, but they're just not going to be able to do enough. And my general is dead here, which is massive, because it means my units will start chain routing. I don't have enough ammo at this point. This Germanic Horseman is going to die to the Nordic Horse Lords. I'm going to try and stop him with Sarmatian Warband. Over here, I'm going to continue pulling away my Germanic Archers. If I can fire into these uh, cab units, I have a very small chance. But at this point, it's just not much I can do. Too many Nordic Horse Lords for me to deal with. Uh, even this one over here is going to be routed off the field soon. There we go. I'm targeting down his Nordic Horse Lords. They're taking a lot of casualties here, but... This is not really enough. And at this point, all my units route off the field, so... Uh, it's basically like a pretty decisive victory for William here. Uh, not sure what I did wrong on my right flank, besides getting charged. <laughs> one of my units got charged, but one of his pretty much got charged. Almost for, for free, and I still lost that engagement with the Germanic Horseman. Did not make too much sense for me. 
And then, of course, uh, I dealt a lot of damage to his spikes with one Germanic Horseman that I had. But I lost the cab unit in the process, so it was a risky move which didn't pay off, it seemed. Uh, with that one unit, and I think that one unit possibly could have lost me this game. Like, just losing that Germanic Horseman without doing too much damage. Yeah, and then again, that weird engagement where my goal 3 Germanic Horseman charging into his Nordic Horse Lords lost pretty decisively. That was a real pain for me to deal with. But as you can see, his Nordic Horse Lords did very well overall, whereas my Germanics did not do too well. Uh, his Nordic Pikes did better than my Pikes somehow as well. Uh, Herdman doing alright for him, Nordic Warriors, uh, these guys doing well. Nordic Axe is 214 kills. I didn't even notice where these guys were engaged, but they seem to be... Yeah, they, they ripped infantry units apart, it seems. <laughs> Nordic Hurlers, they actually got a decent amount of kills considering that I focused them down. Hmm. Yeah, that is the match, so I hope you guys guys enjoyed. If you want to see more, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Uh, share the video, and I'll see you next time.